Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. Hope you're doing well. It's time for an unboxing first impression video of this one, Paco Rabanne Phantom. Yeah, there's kind of an interesting story behind this one, actually. I covered this on This Week in Fragrance a few weeks ago, and not long after I made that video live, Paco Rabanne actually reached out to me. Well, not Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne, but somebody from Paco Rabanne, and they said, hey, thanks for covering our stuff. Take it down. So for whatever reason, uh, there was this big email that they had sent saying, hey, we want to keep the hype for the release. And they basically went through all U.S. websites and tried to have anything about Phantom scrubbed off there for some reason, because people knowing that you're coming out with something that they already know about in Europe is bad yeah they, di they didn't want americans to know about it <laughs> i i don't know why but that's what they did so yeah so you may have seen it pop up on fragrantica and perfumo and a bunch of other websites and then a few days later it was gone that's because paco Rabanne was reaching out saying hey take that down thanks they actually told me if i took my video down they would send me a bottle for review in september and i said no thanks i'll just buy it when it comes out so, let's jump into it. Let's check it out. So this one comes with the slip cover, as you can see here. It's metallic and reflective and gives off kind of a rainbow coloration. Looks kind of cool. And you have a picture of the bottle on the front, which I think is horrible. Maybe it'll look better when I get it out of the box, but I think it just is so tacky it's so bad it just doesn't make a ton of sense that they have a robot toy as the bottle and then the name of the fragrance is phantom like i i don't get it maybe it should be a little ghost or something like that <laughs> be better than the robot but paco Rabanne is known for their their kind of out there bottle designs their eye-catching bottle designs that way i guess you know casual people go into the store they look at the counter and they go hey all those glass bottles, they look classy, but man, what's up with the freaking robot? I'll take the robot. That's pretty cool, man. And these do come with a little QR code so you can scan it and it takes you to a Paco Rabanne website where you can take selfies that the robot gets inserted into. So that's cool. Super hip. Yeah, so basically you go to this website, take a selfie, and then it puts the little phantom robot in the selfie, which I guess then you put on Instagram. Here it says it's a connected bottle with a clean formulation. It's very long lasting and made in France. So we take that off and there's more information on the inside here talking about how to use the robot, how to connect the robot. Yeah, it's just, I, I don't care. It's a fragrance, like why do I want to do this whole thing, man? This is a long first impression. Okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling a lot here. So here's the box. It looks really, really basic. A little bit reminiscent of the Invictus box. You've got the name of the fragrance, name of the house, little picture of the robot, size and concentration, QR code once again. Again, on the back, connected fragrance, nothing on the side. On the bottom, your ingredients and your batch code, which is 00421. More information on the inside flap about how to connect your bottle. Connect with Phantom to discover exclusive content and live an immersive experience. Simply hold your smartphone near the signal symbol on top of the bottle to start. And, uh, here it is. Yeah, I kind of hate it. But here it is. It's your little robot friend made of glass with a chrome exterior to it. You got the Paco Rabanne right here in the middle, which is see-through, so you can see your fragrance inside there. And there's a little head. I guess this is his eyes, the little visor. That's where the atomizer is. And um, there's your little signal symbol. And there's the back of the robot and on the bottom you've got your batch code. Maybe I should try to connect to this thing. So I hold it close. There it goes. Yeah, so it pulls up phantomuniverse.com and uh, a new drop is coming soon. So that's cool. 
And then there's the phantom filter where you can add a good looking bot to your selfies. And there's boom bot where you can groove with history's greatest number ones. Ultimately though, with all these gimmicks and all this stuff, who cares? Let's just see how it smells finally. There's just so much to unpack here with what they're they're doing or trying to do. It's, it's you know, it's a little out of the ordinary, you could say. All right, spray it on. Man, this is super sweet. Like, ugh, really sweet. It's kind of a kind of a weird thing going on. There's lemon, there's a, a really sweet apple, bit of lavender. Yeah, like a really crisp apple. There's a, a green facet here, a, a pretty substantial one, actually. So you've got this grassiness to the fragrance and it's kind of along the periphery. So you smell it and the first thing you get hit with is, is sweetness. And then as that comes off your nose, off your palate, you pick up this kind of grassiness underneath it. Yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it. It's grassy, earthy underneath a whole bunch of sweetness. Vanilla, citrus, and apple. So a little bit of a contrast, but when you first smell it, like I said, it, it's, it's so far on the sweet side that after that kind of comes off your nose and then it's just for a moment there, earthy, grassy. It's, it's kind of kind of jarring. In the opening here, it's like just a big mix, lots of stuff going on, you know, it's it's all jumbled together. So it's almost like you have these notes all shouting at you from, from different angles, from different areas, and, and you're just kind of like, uh, what, what's going on? Uh. It smells really, really youthful. Uh, this is something for like teenagers and guys in their early 20s. Uh, it's not going to appeal very much to guys middle-aged and older. So I would say, you know, if you're early 30s and older, this is gonna come across really, really far on the youthful slash immature side of things, depending on how you wanna, how you wanna view it. I'm gonna let this dry down. And I'll come back and wrap this up. But that's how it smells right now in the opening. I am back, had my wife check it out, and I've let it dry down as well. So as far as the bottle goes, she's not really a big fan. She knew what it looked like beforehand. I showed her pictures and everything, but with her holding it in her hand and looking it over and everything, her verdict was, Ugh. I'm kind of torn. I like it because it's different and, and cheesy and tacky. And at the same time, I don't like it because it's cheesy and tacky. <laughs> Maybe over time I'll really like it or I'll really hate it. I don't know, we'll see. Now the fragrance, my wife was not a fan of the opening. I went up there and sprayed it on fresh on this hand, had her check it out. She said it reminded her of mouthwash. Now that was the initial opening. It's just kind of, you know, a little, little harsh when you very first spray it on. It settles down pretty quickly though. And after that, she did like it. So uh, for her, it went from a big dislike to I like. She did say overall it smelled like something a teenager would wear. I gotta kind of agree with her there, but she liked it once that top settled down. Also had her smell to dry down. She liked that as well, but pretty much the same thing that she said about uh, the opening and the opening heading into the mid, that it smelled like it was for a younger guy, that it was really sweet. Now, as I mentioned, it's dried down. You do get more vanilla that comes out the longer that it stays on your skin. The lavender stays through until the end. Also, you get a little bit of vetiver, but not too much. It's mainly about the vanilla and the lavender. And then to a lesser extent, apple, and then a lesser extent, <laughs> vetiver and patchouli. I will say that I like Phantom a lot more once you hit the far dry down, because at that point, the vanilla, while it's still there, is not quite as aggressively sweet. So in the opening, in the mid especially, Phantom comes across almost sickly sweet. Like this can be really cloying. If you wear this in high heat and spray on a good amount of it, it's the type of fragrance where the sweetness is just gonna cause a headache for a lot of people. Not everyone, but a lot of people. Once you hit the dry down though, thankfully, there's a little bit of a contrast. So while the vanilla is still there, the lavender is still there, it's not as aggressively sweet. You get a touch of earthiness, a little touch of woodiness, and it helps balance out the vanilla. So once you hit the dry down at that point, Phantom doesn't come across quite as youthful. I mean, it still is a youthful fragrance, but it smells like something that 
uh, somebody in their 30s could potentially pull off. We'll say that much. The problem is, in order to get there, you've got to go through the opening and the mid and the first part of the dry down. And those parts of the fragrance are really sweet. In your face, youthful teenage sweetness where it's like, hey man, pay attention to me, please, please. I just need a compliment, please. Can I get a compliment? One thing to keep in mind here, guys, this is a first impression of Phantom. That means obviously I've not been able to wear the fragrance out in the wild and to see what other people think about it coming off me. See how it works in high temperatures or windy days or fair weather days or, you know, just an air condition. So things could change. My opinion could change. We'll see. But as I sit here today, I think the opening and the mid are just so overwhelmingly sticky, cloyingly sweet that uh, I, don't, I don't know that it's gonna be the type of fragrance I really wanna wear. I think for younger guys, it could be a great option. You know, it is attention grabbing for sure. And for guys middle-aged and up, I think, I think you don't wanna wait around how long you're gonna have to wait around every time you spray this on to get to the dry down to where it smells a little, a little, little bit less cloying. So while I don't think it's one of the worst releases of the year, absolutely unequivocally, it is not going to be one of the best designer releases of this year. I know for sure I could run through five that are better than this one like that. Could I do 10? It's possible but it's gonna end up in that in that kind of range, that middle range. Not the worst, not the best, it exists. But again, depending on your age and what you're looking for, it could work out better than a lot of fragrances this year, or it could work out worse than a lot of fragrances this year. So for me, I'm in the middle, neutral, don't really like it, don't dislike it, it's there. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me today, thanks for your support, stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.